Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Right. Go on. Wait a second. Yes. Ricky and Philomena? Or Diane? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You don't believe in an afterlife. Oh, here she is. Right. Go on. If you're atheist. I am. And you don't believe in an afterlife. I don't. If you don't believe in heaven and hell and all that, mm. why don't you just go around raping and murdering as much as you want? Sure. I do. What? I do go around raping and murdering as much as I want, which is not at all. Because he's got a conscience. What? If death is just the end, what's the point? What's the point in what? Living. Might as well just kill yourself. So if you're watching a movie and you're really enjoying it, someone with Kevin Hart in, yeah. and someone points out that this will end eventually, do you just go, oh, forget it then, what's the point, and just turn it off? No, cos I can watch it again. Well, I think life is precious cos you can't watch it again. I mean, you can believe in an afterlife if that makes you feel better. Doesn't mean it's true. But once you realise you're not going to be around forever, I think that's what makes life so magical. One day you're eat your last meal, smell your last flower, hug your friend for the very last time. You might not know it's the last time, so that's why you should do everything you love with passion, you know? Treasure the few years you've got, because that's all there is. I watched Ride Along 2 five times. Well, you haven't wasted your life, then. Definitely not, no. Love Kevin Hart. Yeah. Everything about him. His humour, his comedy. Films? Comedy films, mainly. Mainly, yeah. Yeah. Whatever gets you through. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming over. Pleasure. What is this? What is this? If you're watching a movie... What is this? Is there more? Diane Morgan, Ricky? And brother? I... I... I don't believe, and I've never believed, I, when, I used to be like, this is my religious journey, okay, throughout my life. I've never been religious. Um, I never even knew my mom and dad's vis uh, view on religion until I asked them when I was like 17 or something. Like, that, that, I had no clue. Um, and they're both not very religious they grew up and you know my grandparents are seemingly pretty religious kind of but um so I, I never grew up in that but i did reach a phase i love christopher hitchens i i fell in love with the man i'd watch him all the time and i i, I became to the point where like i was atheist and then and like i hated religion i thought like all problems in the world are a religion um uh, I, I still don't believe, uh, in my mind, if you believe the earth is flat and you believe in God or, uh, any God of any religion, I see you as equally illogical. If you believe in, uh, astrology, I, by the way, guys, believe in anything you want. I'm not trying to like hate on people like this, but like the only thing that bugs me is when people um who believe in certain stuff without evidence judge other people who are like astrologists like oh yeah uh the 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 stars align today which means i'm a sagittarius and this happens and then someone who's like religious will be like oh my god they're crazy well you're just as crazy as they are okay honestly i don't i don't think i'm it's insane people are flat earthers but it's like someone who's religious and believes that Jesus is at all special and not just some random dude that, that lived. Not random. He's the most famous person of all time. Or Muhammad. Or who are the other? Uh, Krishna? Krishna? Buddha? All that's Like, if you believe in any of that stuff, that's okay. But don't hate on the person who thinks ghosts exist. Or the hate on the person that thinks the earth is flat. Because you believe in something just as nonsensical. So I, I had this sort of like more like militant atheist phase. Militant's a bit strong. In like my mid-late teens, maybe very early 20s. 
And now I'm like, I'm 30 years old now. I, I've just gotten to the point where like, I'm just like, live, let live. There's some good stuff that does come from religion, meaning like uh, some charities, um, just that, that community togetherness you have with other people around you of your faith and church. But the, it, it amazes me that people who are so logical throughout the day can believe something that just doesn't make sense. And so that, that that's, I could go on about this forever, but yeah, someone who believes that a fortune cookie is really giving them their future or that a horoscope or that the earth is flat is just as insane to me as someone who believes that God exists, but to each their own. Okay. Does that make sense? I, I, I'm at a point where I'm like, you know, live and let live just, you know. I want more of this. What, give me more. Love you guys. See you next time.